Those ankle monitors facing some lingering questions tonight. As we first reported to you on Friday, the other 15 year old charged with the pastor's killing, Miguel Andrade, was wearing one the day of her killing, but it failed to alert his probation officer about his whereabouts. Brad Broders has been looking into what might have gone wrong. Brad, what have you found out? Well, we found out that juvenile court judge Dan Michael continues to look into what happened, but said the 15 year old was ordered to wear an ankle monitor in March as part of a plea deal for three previous carjackings, but it wasn't detected when police and court documents say he committed two other carjackings last Monday in Whitehaven and Cordova. We have exactly the juvenile court system that we pay for. And, you know, that's on all of us as members of this community. Memphis attorney Michael Working said those funding woes have the juvenile court case of Miguel Andrade now under the microscope. Juvenile court judge Dan Michael said the 15 year old was ordered on an ankle monitor in March as part of a plea deal for three previous carjackings, but was it detected when police and court documents say he committed two other carjackings last Monday in Whitehaven and Cordova. Authorities say that Whitehaven carjacking resulted in the shooting death of well known and well liked Reverend Atora Eason Williams. Funding for probation services for juveniles is woefully inadequate. Um, it's hard to supervise them at all, given the funds that they, they have. Judge Michael told ABC 24 Friday Andrade's family was notified twice in recent months when a monitor couldn't charge and needed to be replaced. There are certain requirements that, you know, batteries have to be charged. There's faulty equipment. There can be a lot of things that go wrong. Working said that's one of several potential ways someone on a monitor can fall through the cracks in supervision along with manpower. What if that probation officer is on vacation? What if that probation officer has COVID? What if that probation officer has a sick child and isn't at work that day? They're, if they're so strong, uh, thin, that no one is there to cover for a probation officer who might just not be at work that day. Now, I emailed Shelby County's lead probation agents this morning for additional comments about their policies and monitoring juveniles with ankle monitors, but so far, I haven't heard back, Richard.